another opportunity that we have to look at our simulation and uh, we would like to look at distributions uh, the first one is on a uh, normal distribution the mean is zero standard deviation is one that means we are looking at the standard normal and uh, how do we generate uh, some samples from the normal distribution you use the L norm and then if we look at the first five values we get them uh, those are the values that we have for the standard normal if i was just to change maybe put a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of maybe 1.6 now i'm going to get the normal distribution and not the standard normal and you can see the values that we are getting uh the mean is 100 and uh standard deviation of 1.6 so that's how you would generate uh samples from a normal distribution either standard normal or the this the normal distribution we know then we have the uniform distribution we have the minimum the maximum and the value of n and uh, those are the values you get remember if you want to get more accurate results you increase the value of n i've increased it to a hundred thousand let me increase it to a million and see what you get yes the value will lie between zero and one uh, for the uniform distribution we have the poison distribution also or the poison and uh, the R poise n and lambda the value of lambda will determine uh, the, the 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 parameters that you have so uh, the lambda is three so the average mean is three again uh, you could increase that and uh, you end up getting more more accurate uh, results and uh that's the other distribution that's the poison and then we also have the binomial again that's the distribution you could use or uh, the sampling process all binom n size and the probability and the probability you can always alter it to give you the probability of success that you need and the n values that you require then it increases the probabilities of you sampling specific values and then the last one is exponential distribution the rate uh, all x and then the same case applies so what basically i was showing you is how do i simulate from a given uh, distribution and then you are able to view the first uh, six values using the head function so that's the exponential that we add that's the binomial you can change the values and see what results you are getting and so on and so forth and then also we have the poison distribution the same case and then we have the uniform and then we have the normal where you have the standard normal and the normal distribution so that's a general overview on how to uh, simulate values from the statistical distributions thank you too for watching